Well, Coach Burmeister, your team back and forth most of the way, pulls away in the fourth quarter. What were you able to do there late to be able to get the breathing room? I thought we took care of the ball pretty well. Uh, some of our role players came up with some big baskets. And then uh, we kind of went into our delay there and got into the bonus. And uh, we made five of the six free throws in the fourth quarter. And uh, uh, overall, we shot the free throws really well tonight. Uh, we were 16 to 20 from the line. And that's our best shooting percentage with that number of free throws was 80% tonight. That's our best. And they were 4 of 7. So 12-point uh, differential on uh, free throws tonight. That was a key. We changed up our defenses. Uh, First, core, uh, first half, we were running more of a 1-2-2 two, two matchup that we never ran before, but we wanted to keep Jackson shots at the high post for rebounding and to take away the flashes and to match up better with that high post. We sent Nate out tonight, Nate Bentaglia, so we could keep our two big guys at the block. And it worked pretty good there for a while until uh, they started getting some threes on us, and then we had to adjust a little bit. Uh, but they only made one the second half, and about four minutes left in the third quarter, we went back to our traditional 1-1-3 uh, matchup, and our guys may have a little bit more confidence in that, and, uh, and uh, you know, that's what we went with. Uh, we like to press, kind of slow them down or speed them up, but uh, depending on what press it is, but we think it kind of wears them out, and, you know, their shooting isn't as good, but I thought the rebounding, we, we had three keys, rebounding, turnovers, and free throws, and I don't know if we led in all three tonight, but it was pretty close in rebounding. And turnovers, I think we might have had less than they did. And then uh, free throws, again, we were 16 to 20. They were 4 to 7. So uh, I thought the getting to the line. And Jackie, uh, Jackson Lamb's a pretty good ball player, and he carried us there early in the first half. And so we got the other few guys going there. But uh, good team win. We didn't know how far the tournament, but we these guys practice hard, and they were very dedicated. So. Uh, we'll be ready to go Thursday night again. Looked like one point in the second quarter you were going to start to open it up. You went up 27 to 17, uh, but then they kind of battled back. I mean, did you feel like you guys were going to make it a more lopsided game there late first half? Well, we only have Jackson Lamb back, so uh, this team has come a long ways this year. Uh, it's 17 wins for them now, but uh, uh, no, we uh, we knew we had a very good opponent tonight and very f bigger and physical than us. And, their defensive average, I think, is 46 or 47. So um, they've got a very good defense. They put a lot of pressure on the guards, and their post players uh, changed a lot of our shots early in the game, I thought. And we got a few pump kicks in there, and, and uh, some big shots. Uh, Tanner hit some big shots later, early, uh, later in the game. But they're a little intimidating both inside, and they put a lot of pressure on you on the outside. So uh, they, they, what they did was got, get about six points off our press. They got the ball a little deep on us a few times, and that helped them. And then they hit those two, you know, they hit three threes in that first half, we, which we did. We, we wanted to put pressure on them to shoot the three, and they did. Uh, you know, those two guys made three threes that first half. That's nine points. So uh, that's part of the reasons why they, the way they came back, I thought, is they started hitting some threes there. You mentioned Tanner Armstrong. He only averages six a game. He had six in a real tight window there in the third. It's not that often. He probably really leads your offense, and he was there for a while. In the second yeah, he just, he's a very strong kid, and we thought maybe he was fading away a little bit or falling away and not using his pump fake and not getting his legs underneath him and just powering it up, and, which he's capable of doing. You know, he works hard every day. Every day in practice, he's working on post moves. So he's a kid that's come a long ways for us this year. We're really happy with his progress. He didn't see a lot of minutes last year. You know, Nate Andrews the same way, and David Schweitzer at point guard. I mean, all these guys hardly played any minutes last year. So, you know, we're really excited about this team, how hard they play, and uh, thought they took care of the ball pretty well there late. Uh, ran a three-man weave and dumped it into Tanner that one time. That's the first time we ran that play all year besides practice. So we did something new tonight, and Tanner got two points on it underneath. So Carolina, we're a little hesitant in running that a little bit about midway through the year. And now uh, they got more confidence in it, a little bit more confidence in it. And I thought going from four to seven fouls was really big, and it, it happened in a hurry. Some of it was in the scramble situation on loose balls, and we got the call on some of those loose ball fouls. But uh, it's a good win. Uh, they play in the Western Iowa, and you know the, their record's really deceptive because you know <laughs> you've got two of the better teams in Class Two A, and Ike and Manning and Trainer in there. And, and uh, there's some really good teams in Western Iowa, so uh, 
at the same time we represent the Pride of Iowa and our guys finished second in the Pride of Iowa this year and uh, you know we're just really excited for these guys who work really hard and uh, you know they put a lot of time in and, and you know not always does all the time that you put in pays off but it, it has definitely for these guys uh, the season could have ended earlier than what it did now and I'd still be happy with them so but uh, we're gonna get back to work tonight we'll start taking a good look at uh, had our next opponent here in Paige Chardan. Uh, this is the, kind of the team they've been waiting to get to state, I think. They seem like they've got a uh, little bit that I've seen of them. They seem like they've got a good nucleus of both inside and outside, and uh, they'll be a formidable opponent on uh, Thursday. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time.